Does anybody ever criticize you? How do you respond to it? I mean, is it a place where you want to lash out at the person and, you know, make them pay? Or maybe you drop in and you wither on the inside and you're not sure, you know, whether that, how to take it really. And how does that inside feel when somebody criticizes you? You know, is there a difference between a stranger criticizing you and someone you love? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to find out what to do when you have somebody who critiques you and how to handle it in a way that feels good and how to also not accept criticism if it's really not about you. This is Zen in a Moment, the podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow, Flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise, and I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. You know, when somebody says something to you, whether it's a beloved person in your life or not, maybe it's somebody in authority, we all have a way in which we react, and it's different. It's different for every single person, you know? Um, for some people, it's like to heck with them. I don't want a club that they'd want me to be a part of anyways. And for other people, it's like, oh no, they can see me. There's something wrong with me. I'm broken. And there's all the gamut in between where there's all kinds of different ways that it makes us feel inside. And a lot of that is the way we're programmed when we're little. I talk a lot about how in witnessing the adults around us that raised us, we have a tendency to take on their own way of dealing with criticism. Or in being criticized, right, that we have a way that it made us feel when we were little kids. And even though we've become these assertive, amazing, confident adults, we may, may still have that little child triggered when a criti- critical moment comes up, you know, a critical thing. Well, I talk a lot about the internal guidance system, right? And if you don't know what your internal guidance system is, it's a factory installed guidance system, and you can find out more at zeninamoment.com, where you can check it out, feel it for yourself. You can physically feel it. You've had it your whole life. And that's what I'm talking about today. Um, You know, when you have your IGS, internal guidance system, it expands when what you're thinking is true and in alignment and going to bring you more health and harmony in your life. And it contracts. It feels tense, you know, like a lump in your throat or a tight feeling in your chest or a sinking feeling in your solar plex. And that's a closing sensation. That means what you're thinking is not true. And you can use this amazing, amazing thing to gauge whether or not the person who's giving you a critique is actually talking about you or projecting themselves on you or seeing something that isn't true. So I'm gonna give you an instance. I love to use my husband and I because it's just a safe place. I don't have to worry about all my clients that I, my coaching and my students. I love their stories too, but I don't wanna out anybody or have anybody ever feel like, was she talking about me? I love to talk about myself on this for that reason. And you know, my husband and I, we battle, man. We are we are hot, fiery people and we battle. And And he'll say something, you know, like, you're manipulating me. And I'll say, no, I'm not. And instantly, my internal guidance system responds with either an opening or a closing. And if it opens, then I know that it's not true. Like, when opening means what I'm saying is not true. So if I open to, no, I'm not, that means I am not being manipulative. That's how he's receiving me. He has these things around being manipulated that don't have anything to do with me. It's his reaction. And if I say, no, I'm not, and I close, I feel a tight sensation, that means what I'm thinking is not true, and I actually am being manipulative. This internal guidance system is kind of counterintuitive. And in that case, I go, ooh, honey, I just closed. That means what that means that I am. Well, let me look at this for a second. Am I trying to manipulate you right now? Yeah, I guess I am. I guess I am kind of trying to talk you into something. I'm giving up a whole bunch of evidence as to why you should feel the way I do about this person, place, or thing. And you're right. I'm kind of trying to manipulate you by convincing. Convincing is another way of manipulating, right? Selling someone on something who doesn't want to be sold, right? That's a way of being manipulative. That all is included in that manipulative realm. And so throughout my lifetime, what I've learned in using my IGS is when somebody puts something on me, right? Uh, You're not working hard enough. I check my IGS. Am I not working hard enough? Closed. No, that's not true. I am working hard enough. Ooh, I opened. And then I have the capacity to step forward with that and, and be able to be present with that person and say, no, actually, I do feel like I am working hard enough. I am working hard enough in this situation, and here's the reasons why. I don't collapse into my story. I don't collapse into my child, you know, the reaction I'm having from my child. Um, Another thing to know is, is maybe you are, 
You know, like, so maybe somebody says to you that you're being really defensive right now. Why, you know, you're being really defensive. You're not listening to me. And you go, no, I'm not. And you close. And you're like, ooh, I am being defensive. And immediately, your, your IGS is in response to your thoughts. Immediately, you'll get a little opening. I am being defensive. Oh, I'm feeling lighter inside. Oh my gosh, that is the truth. Okay, you're right, I'm being defensive. And you may immediately, upon being able to recognize that you're being defensive, the story may come in like, yeah, you're right. I feel like I should have done this earlier. I should have known better. And yeah, I am being defensive about this. And you're right, let me listen to what you're saying. Now, I'm not saying that this is easy. When somebody critiques us, it's, it's like it's, it's our personal essence that gets hurt, right? And so in the moment, that little reaction of that, that child that you are and the way that they feel upon being criticized, it's going to react. And so you may not. I've had lots of training. You know, I mean, you know, my students are able to do this, of course, because they practice. And this takes practice. So don't, don't be upset if you don't get it right off the bat. Like, oh my gosh, I stopped. I, I didn't remember to stop and feel into my internal guidance system and see whether that critique that somebody gave me was true or not. But here's a little tip. If you are having conversations after the fact or before the fact with somebody, right, you have a feeling that they have a criticism of you, or maybe you've had a conversation and you feel like you were judged and, and, and they were critical of you, maybe, and you're still having conversations in your head, on the way home, in the evening, late at night, three o'clock in the morning when you wake up, this person, this criticism is still hanging all over you, that's a good time to check and see whether what you're thinking about it is true. Because what I found is that when we're triggered, when we're denying something that's true, we're often closed. Our IGS is kind of tapping on the window. Tick, 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 tick. Wake up. Hello, there's something you're not seeing. That's why we're still keeping it in your framework. You're still having your mind roll over and over it. right? Or maybe there's something that isn't true. And you need to be able to claim, no, that's not true about me. I'm not going to internalize that. And you'll feel an opening either way. And when you feel the opening, that is your truth. That is your inner truth. That's what you can stand by. I promise you. And you can go to that person and say, you know, I don't think you're right about me when you say that. And you'll feel it in your body. And I'm not going to receive that from you. I appreciate that you feel that way about me, but I, I'm not, I'm not, that's not what's going on here. And I found that it's been very powerful in my relationships, and, and especially in my marriage, to be able to say, you know what, honey, you're right. I love that one. Jaw drops. It's always great. He loves that about me. But also to say, no, I, I disagree. That's not what I'm doing. Because then once you're in that place where you're able to hold your own, then you guys can communicate t in a place and in a way where real, true solutions come forward and the reality of the situation um, is present. It's not two little kids with their stories banging on each other. It's two real adult people having an open, honest conversation and opening begets opening. So if you come in open, you will be open you will be opening him or her, whoever you're in relationship with. All right, so I love it. I want to thank you so much for listening to these podcasts. Remember to go to zeninamoment.com and comment, right, right? You might be there now. Just comment below. I want to find out about you and how you take criticism. I mean, what is it like for you? You know, I mean, tell me, what does it feel like? And then also, you know, check us out. We've got a lot of great juicy stuff. Sign up on my email list. You'll get these podcasts in your inbox. But not only that, you'll get to get more information about how to learn to use your internal guidance system, how to eradicate stress from your life altogether, meaning worry, fear, anxiety, overwhelm, frustration, all of these things that cause closing and suffering in our lives. I teach you how to eradicate them in my courses. And I would love to have you come and spend more time with me doing that. And in the meantime, I want to just let you know that until we get to talk again, I'm sending you love and blessings.